Hi, I'm Lisa Child. Welcome back to Tried, Tested, and True Instant Pot Cooking. Today, I'm going to share with you 26 tips, tricks, and facts about your Instant Pot, and I guarantee you won't know at least one of them. Really quick, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment what your favorite tip is or what you learned. Let's get started with number one. So you know how your Instant Pot makes sounds? And when you press the buttons or when it starts cooking, you can turn off the sounds on your Instant Pot. All you have to do is press the minus button for three seconds and it will say S off, meaning sound off. If you ever wanna turn it back on, just do the opposite with the plus sign. Number two. Did you know that you can proof bread dough with your Instant Pot? If you have an Instant Pot Duo or above, then you can use the yogurt function, not only for making yogurt, but for proofing your bread dough at the perfect temperature. It usually cuts the proof time for me by half. Tip number three. If you're always complaining about your Instant Pot not coming to pressure very fast, use my tip. Use hot or warm water whenever you cook with your Instant Pot and it will come to pressure so much quicker. All you have to do is use either hot tap water or just microwave your liquid for about 30 to 60 seconds before you use it. Number four, another tip to make your Instant Pot come to pressure faster is by preheating your pot. Now you can preheat your pot using the saute mode down here and that will just get it nice and warm and ready for you to cook in and that will bring it to pressure so much quicker. Number five, this is one of my favorite tips and people freak out when I tell them about this tip. If you have an Instant Pot Duo, you can use either side of your Instant Pot base as a stand for the lid. You could do it on this side or the other side so when you're cooking, it's so convenient to just have it right there on the side. Now, one extra tip with this tip is to make sure everyone in your family knows that this is not a lever. Otherwise, you can snap this part off and break your lid. Number six. Now, you heard me earlier mention the yogurt setting on your Instant Pot, but did you know that if you have an Instant Pot Duo or above, you can actually make homemade yogurt with your Instant Pot? There's nothing crazy about it. All you use is ultra-filtered milk, a yogurt starter, which is just pre-made store-bought yogurt, and a sweetener of your choice. And you can get that recipe on my website at triedtestedandtrue.com. Tip number seven. You can use your Instant Pot as a slow cooker or just as a food warmer. I love taking my Instant Pot to a potluck and just keeping the food on warm and just setting it on the counter because there's a lid, keeps it nice and warm when you're ready to eat your food. You don't even have to make the food in the Instant Pot to keep it warm. For example, my husband had a birthday party a couple months ago and we had some canned SpaghettiOs for his birthday buffet. And all I did was just stick a couple cans of SpaghettiOs in my three quart Instant Pot. I set it on keep warm and it was perfectly warm the whole party. Side note, that was one of his favorite childhood foods and there were kids at the party so it was just kind of for nostalgia's sake. Number eight, now this is one of my favorite life hacks, is to hard boil your eggs in your Instant Pot and then the shells just fall off. I'm not kidding, this is like amazing, you don't have to do anything extra, all you do is pressure cook it and some magical thing happens in there and the shells just fall off your eggs. Number nine, if you struggle putting the Instant Pot lid on your Instant Pot, just do this. Instead of worrying out the arrows on the front and you're like juggling the lid, just take this steam valve part of the lid and match it up with the adjoining part on the base. So you just line this up on this side and then you just twist it right in and you'll get it every time. Number 10. Did you know that you can actually take the cord off of your Instant Pot? So for most three and six quart models, you can take the cord off of the actual device. So you can roll it up, put it inside. Um, it's better for storage and for travel. Also just to note that eight and 10 quart models actually have the cord attached, so you won't be able to take it off. Number 11, you can make boxed macaroni and cheese in your Instant Pot that's fast, easy, 
drain-free and hands-off. I love making it for a quick snack for my kids or just as a really easy meal. You can find the full directions for that recipe on my website, which I'll link below. Number 12. Now the Instant Pot will automatically go on keep warm mode after it's done pressure cooking. But if you don't want it on keep warm mode, all you have to do is just press this button and turn off the keep warm mode. Number 13. You can use the timer setting on your Instant Pot to delay the cook time if you're not ready to cook right away. Now the only caveat with this is to make sure you don't leave perishable food in your Instant Pot for too long, otherwise it could be unsafe to eat. All you have to do is press the timer button once to change the hours and twice to do the minutes and then just wait and then it will set. Number 14. You can use your Instant Pot as a double boiler. All you have to do is add about a cup of water in the bottom of your Instant Pot, put it on low saute or keep warm, and then just add a heat proof bowl right on top of your Instant Pot. Now it needs to be big enough where it's over the rim, otherwise water could seep in and seize your chocolate, but you can use it for chocolates, for making candy, really convenient because you can just take this right wherever you need on a table or something and you don't have to stand over a stove. Number 15. Now you'll know that after you're done pressure cooking something, the display will say L000 or something like that. And that's when you know that that's how long it has been done pressure cooking. But did you know that the L stands for lapsed time? So now you know. Number 16. This is one of my favorite ways to use our Instant Pot is to use it as a hot pot. If you're familiar with Chinese or Japanese cooking, we like filling ours up with water or broth and then dipping our meats and vegetables in to make a really yummy version of shabu shabu. Number 17. If you have anything but an Instant Pot Lux, you can change your pressure setting from low pressure to high pressure. All you have to do is press manual or the setting that you're using and then the pressure button and it will change from low or high or high to low. Number 18, you can adjust the saute feature so it's kind of like a low, medium, or high heat. All you have to do is press the saute button and then press adjust. Less is like a low setting, normal is kind of a medium, and then more is a high setting. I almost always have mine to more unless something is really bubbling and then I'll set it to low. Number 19, don't put anything like a cloth or a paper towel over your ceiling knob when you're releasing the pressure. One, this will void the manufacturer's warranty and it could cause some safety hazards. Instead, do this. If you're nervous about releasing the steam from your Instant Pot, which is totally warranted, just Stand close to your Instant Pot, but instead of just letting it go completely and fast like that, just stand here really close and just let the steam out in short bursts like this. Just by rocking your knob back and forth and that will allow you to have full control of the ceiling knob and the pressure. If anything starts spurting out, you just close it back to ceiling and it will stop. And you can just take a step back, take a breath, and you'll be okay. Number 20. Do not try and hurry the lid off of your Instant Pot or try to manipulate the pin going down in any way. Sometimes it might be tempting to kind of rattle the lid or press the pin down and try and get this lid off as soon as possible, but don't do it because we need the pressure to come all the way down on its own, otherwise you could get into some safety issues. Number 21, you can cook frozen chicken in your Instant Pot in as little as six minutes. I like getting the thin cut chicken breasts from Costco and they take about six to seven minutes. A large chicken breast might take up to 20, but you can make chicken from frozen in less than 30 minutes. Number 22. Now this is a follow-up from our last tip, but if you make a bunch of chicken breasts from fresh or frozen and you wanna shred it for let's say like a buffalo chicken dip or a salad or enchilada filling, instead of taking forks or a knife and shredding that chicken up like that takes forever, just use your hand mixer on low and just start mixing up your chicken and it will shred in seconds. Number 23. 
Now there's a steam function on your Instant Pot and this is the only function or preset that is different than the rest because this is the only one that cooks at full power the entire time. You won't see a lot of recipes with this, but it's something you should know. Number 24, you can set a zero minute cook time on your Instant Pot for delicate foods like broccoli. Number 25, you can buy a silicone lid to go over your Instant Pot liner. Now this is really nice because you can use it to marinate meats in the pot with a nice lid that fits perfectly. You can use it to store leftovers or for storing yogurt. The one that I have actually came with an extra ceiling ring, which is nice to get some bang for your buck. We made it to number 26, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Good job if you made it this far. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you learned anything or what your favorite tip or trick was. My last tip is that you can make cheesecake, creme brulee, bread pudding, or anything that you would usually make in a water bath in the oven in the Instant Pot. It's even easier because you don't have to mess with that crazy water bath and the oven, cook it for hours. It's perfectly done in the Instant Pot. Thank you so much again for watching. You can find all of my recipes on my website at triedtestedandtrue.com. Follow me on Instagram at Instant Pot Cooking and make sure that you like this video, share it and comment if you learned anything. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.